Hello, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's session. I'm going to give a demo on course management app, which is a power platform app. On the screen, you can see we are in the environment SIS 360 Sandbox. SIS stands for Student Information System. 360 Sandbox is a test environment. This is part of Power Platform Admin. There are a lot of uh, menu items here and a lot of information here, but for us, the focus of this uh, session is just to go over the course management app. Let me click on this link sys360-sandbox.crm.dynamics.com. I'm going to keep this link in this video's description. You can see it and you can follow it. I clicked on the link, it opened a power app called course management app. On the left hand side, you can see some menu items home, recent, pinned and a group of menu items, courses, instructor, course schedules, enrollments, and students. Here you can see, these are the active courses. I already added the information. Let's go and try to understand each of the menu items. Let's start with the courses. Here, this courses contains title. The title is called Copilot Studio Training. I added the description, credits, levels, this is a choice menu, choice data type, which contains with the menu items. There are different categories for this course. So I entered all this information and clicked save, save and close. That information is saved and closed. This is the navigation menu in the Power Platform. Let's click on instructor. Here we are capturing instructor name so it's my name email id phone number assigned courses we can assign courses to this instructor let's see what courses are available so in the first uh, menu item we created the course right copilot studio that is uh, that is the code in the database we are storing the code but uh, for the user to better understand what is a course name we are displaying it as a part of this and technology is the specialization there are different specializations so this is the instructor form which can be used to enter this information. Next is a course schedule form. In the course schedule, we are capturing first course information, course name, and then we can uh, enter the start date. A beautiful uh, you know, calendar will pop up and the end date we can select and location. Right now, we can enter location or it's a free form. The referent, uh, recurrence type, daily, weekly, or monthly. We are talking about the schedule of the course. This is also a form that we can uh, enter the information and save. And enrollment, when the user clicks, when I clicked on this, here we can see all active enrollments, right? ID, course ID, student ID, and all this information. Let's click on this enrollment ID here. Each enrollment is associated with the course and the student. Here we can see enrollment date, enrollment status. And let's go to the students record. Here we can see who are all active students. We are capturing first name, last name, email, phone number, and uh, enrollment type, registered date when this you you know the student is registered. Why don't we do one thing? As we are going through this, let's create one course. We call this as a power platform basics course. In this basic course, in the description, we give the power platform basic course, then power apps, power automate, power pages. And more. We say this credits is just a information. It's a we say ten uh, and we say for the level is a beginner and the category is technology. Let's save close. Here you can see we added this information. Right? The information that we added, Power Platform Basics course, it appears right away in the active courses. Let's go and Add one instructor or let's use the same instructor whoever we have, Sai, and 
let's uh, say contact at the places above. This is my blog 247.com and phone number 111111111. Assigned courses, right? Here we can pick course that what we created. You can see already that course uh, Power Platform Basics course appears in the drop down. And this is of type technology. Let's save this. Wow. See here we are able to save this uh, course information. We enter this uh, phone number, right? Now let's go and see course schedule. Let's add the schedule. The course ID is, you know, 101. That's what we added. Actually, what we can do is recent codes, all records. Here we can see the information, right? And start date, we say it is going to start today. And it is for, we say, December, maybe 31st. And the location is online course. And we say it's a daily course. Let's uh, save this information, close the form. Here we can see the information that we entered is saved here. Now enrollment. Let's go and add a course ID is let's say yes power platform basics course and student is did we had a new student no we had only one student and when is the enrollment date today is the enrollment date and select it's registered save and close here you can see the other record right you can see for this course 101 we registered the student and students here we have Oh, Shiva Khanna student, right? Let's go ahead and add proper Chelsea Chelsea Robert at uh, test.com is the email ID. I'm ignoring the phone number. You say this guy is active and uh, is the date that this person also registered so we are quickly able to go to this course management app and added a course instructor course schedule enrollment and students if you want to visualize there is a way to visualize this information you can click this is all power bi pre-built power platform components you can just click on this information and Power Platform will generate this Power BI report for us. Here you can see it is pre-selected data. Means we didn't select any data. By default, Power BI is uh, based on our data model. It selected some uh, reporting parameters to create a report for us. So this Power BI is uh, integrated inside the Power Platform. As this report is being generated, looks like the report generated so fast, man. Yeah. Here you can see this is a student. And what is the law based on the last name? There are different reports, you know, different views that we are able to so see. Here we can filter the information. We say, hey, we want to do it only on or something. We can now filter that information based on the user. There is, there is a lot of functionality that we can uh, uh, specify here. You can visualize based on uh, you know the uh, different attributes. So for this demo, as you can see, the Power BI report is uh, included here. We can send an email uh, to that, select one of the items. Okay, we can select one of the items and we can send a email link. Email will open up and, uh, you know, it's uh, it's opened up, but we need to be configured. Once it is configured, we should be able to send that information right away. We can export the information. So just to quickly wrap it up, we are uh, able to go through this uh, Power Apps Course Management app. We started from the admin center. We went to environment and we clicked on this link that took us to Power Apps Canvas uh, Management App Environment. We are able to add the record for each one of these and able to generate a Power BI report, visualize the view.
that's it in the next session looking forward to explore more on other aspects of the power app thanks for uh, tuning in see you in my next